this video, I'm going to show you the basics of how to customize your Google Slides presentations. First of all, you'll need to navigate yourself to Google Slides. You can get there by clicking on the Google Apps on the top right hand side of the screen. When you click on it, you can either scroll down to your Google Drive or you can go directly to Google Slides. I'll click on that for now. Once you're in Google Slides, you'll be able to see any slides presentations that you already have made. You'll also see that there are some pre made templates here that you could choose from, or you could just go ahead and make a blank one. If you start with a blank slide, it's going to be relatively uninteresting. So the first thing you might want to do is check out one of the themes on the right hand side. You can scroll down and see the different themes that are available. And when you find one you like, go ahead and click on it. The first thing you should do is go up here and give your presentation a name. Now let's look at some different things you can do with the text. I'm going to click here and start typing a title. The appearance of the text is called the font. If you don't like it, or if you just want to change it, you can highlight the text. Then you can go up to the menu, select font, and there you'll see you have a bunch of different font options to choose from. If you don't like the fonts that are here, you can also go to more fonts to be able to check some other ones out. If you find one that you like, just click on it, click OK, and that will change your text to that font. The next thing that you can do is adjust the size of the font. So clicking on the minus will make the font smaller, whereas clicking on the plus will make it bigger. You can also just edit the size directly here if you know around the size of the font that you want. I'll put 60 here and see what it looks like. It looks like this font is already bold. I can tell that because the B is highlighted. If I don't want it to be bold, I can click off of it and see what that looks like. Then you can also make the font italicized, you can underline it, and you can also change the color by clicking on text color. You'll see that there's a wide range of colors, and there's also some colors down here in the theme that tell you some specific colors that will match with the color scheme that you have right now. Let's go ahead and try this one. I like the bold, but not the underlined and italics, so let's take those off. Next, you could also add a highlight behind the text. So again, I'll drag my mouse cursor over the text. I'll click on highlight color. And if I wanted to add a background highlight, I could click a color and you'll see that that adds that to the background. If you have a dark background like this, you'll probably want to change the text color so that it works with that particular background. I wanna go back though to what I originally had. So I'm gonna go up here to edit undo and I'll undo that so that it goes back to my original font. You'll notice down below that there's also a place for you to add a subtitle. Here would be a good place to write your name since this is the title slide. Just like the text above, you can also make it bigger and you can change the color of the text as well. Notice how this template comes with a color bar at the bottom. If you click on that color bar, then go up to background, that will allow you to change that color so that you can customize it however you'd like. Even though now it looks like my text disappeared, all I have to do is highlight back over it change the color to one that would appear on that background, and I'll get it back again. You'll notice as well that there's a box around this text. That's called a text box. When you hover over the text box, you'll see a crosshairs pop up, and that will allow you to drag that text box anywhere you want it to go. When you do that, it will move the position of the text as well. One thing to keep in mind is that you want to make sure that your text box is aligned. So notice when I'm moving it around, a red line is showing up in the middle. If I make sure that I stay on that red line, I'll make sure that my text stays in the center. But if I were to move it away, then my text is not necessarily going to be in the middle and that's not going to look as good. You can also shrink the size of the text box by hovering over the line and then dragging down if you want it to be smaller or dragging up if you want it to be bigger. Since this text doesn't fully fit the text box, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller and that's going to allow me to be a little bit more precise when I position the text exactly where I want it to go. And again, when I'm doing that, I'll make sure I line it up with the red line so that it's centered. The next thing that I'm going to do here is add an image to make this cover slide a little bit more interesting. So I'm going to go over here to insert, I'll go to image, and then I'm going to look for a picture on the web. Here I'll search for a homework assignment, see if there's an image that I like, once I find one, click on insert, and that will bring that picture in. You'll notice that you can drag the size of the picture to make it bigger or smaller. And you can also move it around wherever you want on the slide. Right now, this image is straight, but you can also tilt the image around for a different effect if you want to do that as well. So I think what I'll do here is add another image. 
and then I'll drag it around where I want it to go. When you're ready to add another slide, go up here to add new slide, and then you can choose from one of the slide layouts to decide which one you want to add. I'm gonna choose this title and two columns one here. You'll see that this slide has a title text box and two other text boxes that you can type in. Just like we did on the other one, we can add a title, and I'll change the font so it looks the same as the other slide. Right away, I can tell that this doesn't quite look right. I would rather have this in the center. So I'm going to go over here to the alignment tool. And right now I'll notice that it's left aligned. So I'm going to click for it to be center aligned instead. You'll also notice if you click off of the text box that the box goes away. If you wanted the box to show up, you could click on it, then click on the border weight. And that will allow you to choose a thickness for the border weight. The larger the number, the thicker the line will be. Even with just black and white and not any writing yet, just by changing the font and adding those border weights, I made it pop out just a little bit better. First, I'm just going to start by giving an explanation of what my awesome work is about. I'll click on the text box and I'll write a short explanation. Since I just have some quick points here, I'm going to make these into bullet points by highlighting them. And then I'll go up to the bullet point option and then I'll select it to turn it into a bullet pointed list. You could also change the appearance of the bullet points by clicking on the drop down menu and then choosing which one you want. Right now, this text doesn't quite fit in the box. So what I'll do is highlight it here and then I'm going to make it bigger. And notice how even though I'm making it bigger, it's not moving outside of the box on the right hand or left hand side. But if you make it too big, it will spill out of the box on the bottom and you want to avoid that. So keep the text so that it stays within the border of the box. And then what I'm going to do in this next box is add my work. So I'll click on this box. Then I'm going to go up to insert. I want to bring in a video from my Google Drive. So I'll go down here to video. Then I'll go into my Google Drive folder and I'll find the video that I want to upload. Notice that right now the video pretty much takes up the entire size of the screen. So I'm going to need to size it down and then I can move it wherever I want. Since I put the video there, I don't really need this text box anymore. So I'm just going to click on it and then I'll click delete. And now I'll move that video down so that it's aligned with the text box on the left hand side. And I can figure that out because I aligned it with that red line right there. This font doesn't quite work with the title that I included. So I'm going to highlight it, change it really quickly. And I might also need to change the size and make it a little bit bigger as well. And now I want to add some color here too. So one option is that I could click on the slide background and then select background color like we did on the previous slide. And I could select a different color for the background. Another option is that you could choose to fill the text box with a color by clicking on the text box, going up to fill color, and then choosing a color that you want to be in the background of that text box. You could also fill the other text box here by repeating that process. If you fill the background with a different color, you might also want to play around with the text color to see if another color might look better with the background color that you just used. One thing that I'm noticing here is that this video looks a little bit small, so I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger and recenter align it so that it looks just a little bit better. All right, that was part one of customizing Google Slides presentations. Look out for part two of this video in order to learn new skills such as duplicating slides, adding custom animations and motions, as well as how to share your slides with others so that you can collaborate on projects.